Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The following week on Coronation Street, Abby is seen on camera engaging in a dubious transaction to assist Paul and other scenes. Damon finally succeeds in getting Sarah back and Adi surprises Nina with a kiss. Here is a comprehensive list of the 14 major events that are scheduled Paul wants Todd to aid him in. Ending his life when the time comes as he works to implement his assisted dying plan, Paul recognizes that asking Todd to assist was asking too much of him when he declines. Paul explains his thinking, stating that as his symptoms of MND worsen, he fears becoming a hostage inside his own body, Todd drives Paul to the physician's office. When Paul indicates that he needs morphine and is in excruciating agony, his concern increases. When Dr. Gaddis declines to prescribe it, Todd tries not to show how relieved he is later, after learning that Paul was unable to obtain a prescription, Abby feels sympathy for him. Observing this, Paul calls Abby over to the flat and asks her to get him some drugs, Kevin gives Abby a lot of credit for forgiving Cassie after the incident with the wrecked car and Abby responds thoughtfully, Abby pretends to have been called out during a breakdown in order to deceive Kevin, but Cassie might have already begun to suspect her. Unaware that someone is surreptitiously taking pictures of them, Abby meets with Dean in secret and purchases some benzos, Evelyn searches the internet for information that might indicate Terry has been operating a puppy farm, when she notices Terry leaving the pound shop carrying a large tray of puppy chow, she may have found a clue. When Evelyn tries to follow Terry, he detects it and makes violent threats against her. Together, Cassie, Evelyn, and Roy are able to obtain Terry's address. When Cassie breaks into Terry's house, she discovers a bag of cash and puppy cages. As Cassie is in the middle of her rescue attempt, Terry returns, so she takes the money and tries to liberate the puppies. Craig later reports that Terry has suffered a major assault at the hands of an unidentified perpetrator. After being seen arguing with him outside his home, Evelyn is the main suspect, but Cassie appears guilty as she witnesses her mother being driven away in Craig's police vehicle. When Evelyn is excluded as a suspect in Terry's assault, she feels relieved. Cassie becomes concerned, though, when Craig reveals that the police are still hunting for the actual attacker, who apparently took a sizable quantity of cash from Terry's flat. At number 9, Hope finds Cassie with the money in a desperate attempt to save face, Cassie offers her a share of the money in exchange for her silence over her finding. Ed receives a cash envelope from Damon, who instructs him to spend it to purchase materials for the bar makeover. Ed's gambling issues and the urge to gamble with the money are unknown to the gangster, afterwards, Dee subtly alerting Damon to Ed's gambling problem, Dee begs him not to cause her father any needless anxiety. Damon worries that he might have already made a significant error when he recalls the money envelope, Adi lies and tells Bobby that Amy is not dating anyone when he asks her about it. When Amy hears this, she becomes enraged and confronts Adi for going too far. Asha finds out that Isla has been reported to the university by someone for inappropriately showing interest in her, so things aren't looking well in her romantic life. Asha says Nina is the one in issue but she has no proof to support her claim. Later, at Victoria Gardens, Adi and Nina run into one other and exchange notes about their individual rows with Amy and Asha. As they kiss, their relationship unintentionally develops into something more. Asha finds Adi asleep on the sofa when she breaks into his flat as the fallout from the kiss confession plays out. She declares that she doesn't want to see him ever again and tosses the bracelet at him. Asha ignores the fact that Audi is unconscious and has a broken carbon monoxide sensor on the side as she rushes off. Will there be time to find Audi? After talking about Todd's evident crush on Moses, Paul and Billy decide it's time to put them in a romantic relationship. After inviting Todd over for supper, Paul, Billy, and Summer then extend an invitation to Moses. Will Todd and Moses catch one other's attention romantically? Harvey contacts Damon again and again wanting him to continue doing illegal work. When he realizes that a disgruntled Sarah has overheard, he becomes embarrassed and threatens to kill Harvey. Later in the week, after Ed presents Damon as a transformed individual who is making a concerted effort to mend his ways, Sarah questions whether she has been too severe on him. When Sarah extends an invitation for a drink, 
Damon is overjoyed, however, his joy quickly turns to rage upon learning that his automobile has been inexplicably wrecked. Social worker Caitlin visits Gemma and Chesney to provide an update on their case. Although Gemma's contact to the children is still restricted, Caitlin assures that things are progressing positively, but more time is required for a resolution to be reached. Bobby causes trouble at the plant by diverting the attention of the machinists. Carla has to end a conversation with a significant client in order to attend to Bobby. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our channel Street Gossip for more update news.